Hey guys, so today I wanted to give you kind of a review and walkthrough of using Design Cap. This is a really cool tool that you can use to design all sorts of things like flyers, click up here, infographics. Um, what I love using this for is social media graphics, so like YouTube channel art, YouTube thumbnails. I actually wanted to show you making some YouTube channel art today, so let's go ahead. I'm going to click on that. I have a uh, YouTube channel that I want to, or that I'm starting for uh, books. So like doing book reviews and things like that. So um, what we'll do is we're gonna actually look at what kind of templates that are already available and see if we can find something that looks kind of cool. And then we'll go from there. So here on the left, we see here's all these templates. You can see there's 184. And I'm gonna see if I can find something that I like right now. It's sorted by popular. You can also sort by recent. And so what I'd like to do, I'm going to sort by popular again. I want to find something book related if possible. So I'm going to type in book. Let's see what comes up. Okay, so like if you click on one, you can see what it looks like. And think, mm, do I like it or not like it? This one's kind of appealing to me here. Yeah, I like this. Okay, I'm going to go with this one. So this is very cool. Now you don't have to use a template. You can just start with a blank screen and add in the elements uh, that you like, but this makes it really easy. So you have this great template to start with. And the next thing is to basically customize your text. So to do that, you can just click here and you'll see there's a box now around the text. And from here, you can change your text. So uh, let's see, instead of book club, let's say we wanted to say book review. So I click down here, I double click to get the cursor to show up. I'm gonna highlight this and I'm gonna say book reviews. Now you can see what happened where this just went down to the next line. So we can either lower, um, lower the font size. So we could uh, go over here and that's 224. We can see we got 96 here, we could do that. Hmm, that's too small. So what I'm gonna do is actually make it bigger by dragging this. And then I'm gonna move this in so it's a little more organized here for me. Kind of see how this looks. Yeah, this is cool. I like that. And see, I even like the font they have uh, already picked here. Uh, but if you want to, you know, find other fonts, you can certainly do that as well. So they've got this neat little squirrely. I'm going to actually raise this up a little bit. That's kind of cool. And then it says Tuesday of each week. So I don't like that. I want to say uh, new videos every Sunday. And then see how big do I want this? That's probably about right. Kind of uh, align that there. And then your website. Okay, this is cool. Yeah, I like the idea of putting a website in there too. And so I'm going to put... Oops. So I'm going to select all, and now I can just write the website name, bookreviews.com. And you can see what's there. It's kind of faint, but this little line here, uh, this little grid line shows up. So you can kind of tell when you're in the center. You don't have to guess. And I love that. Now, this is actually almost a little bit bigger looking than I'd like. So I think I might just make that either a little bit smaller. And that should kind of change this. And I'm going to actually, instead of doing this all caps, I'm going to see what it looks like new videos. Whoops. New videos every Sunday. And then maybe make this bigger again. So you can see you can just keep kind of playing around with this, fine tuning it. Yeah, something like that. I'm going to maybe load, do a little bit smaller again. Now, one thing, too, I, I, I like this brown, actually, but if you wanted to change the color to something else, so when it's selected, you see over here you got your color choice, um, so you can pick a color. And let's say I don't know, you want green or something. Oh, yeah, I like the brown better. Okay, so I just did that, and I'm like, I do not like that. What's cool is you got this great tool over here called Undo. So I'm going to undo it, and we'll go back to the way it was. Now, I wanted to show you, too, if you did want to change your font, if you go over here, 
you see it says uh, open sans you can change it to something else you can also upload your fonts which is awesome and this is one of the uh, enhanced features or benefits when you upgrade as opposed to just having the free version and I love being able to do this it's so so handy so um, that's a great tool there and then of course you can uh, you know italicize underline oh, the underlines kind of cool um, uppercase lowercase and so forth when undo that and then you got your different formatting here so center alignment left right and then this is opacity which is very cool that you can kind of uh, especially for this kind of thing behind it here we got this great little squiggle here um, these are sometimes uh, you know if you, if you decide you don't want something like this you can always move it down here and then maybe change this to white and change the opacity or something like that so yeah definitely lots of things you can do to kind of play, play around there uh, and then the spacing so if you wanted to change your spacing to make it tighter or which is really really cool kind of an advanced uh, feature that way and so then I'm like oops I'll just go back to the way I had it there we go okay so I like this basic idea here now um, I'm just clicking on the background and you can see there's some other things you can do like there's effects so if you click on effects you can maybe kind of change the way it looks a little bit ooh I yeah this is cool okay so I'm gonna undo redo undo yeah yeah um, so yeah the again that's the effects key and then you got filter adjust so you want to make the opacity of that take it down you have that and that's that's kind of cool too actually boy you can see tough tough choices here uh, saturation saturation you want to boost the colors at all you can do that too or desaturate it um, so you can play around with that I'm gonna leave that I'm just gonna click undo on that um, and then what else did we miss out on here okay then we can crop uh, rotate left rotate right flip horizontally let's show you what that looks like so see you just flip the picture which is kind of cool Put that okay so then we'll go over here we got different elements so this is great if you wanted to bring something in here um, again to add something kind of highlight something or then you can also rotate this think mm, maybe you want to change the color make it pop out a little bit more and I'm thinking you know I don't like that it's um, not solid there so I'm gonna go over here click the little trash can to delete it and maybe find something like this awesome good choices here okay and then I'm gonna go back to color click red and something like that okay let me click on all and see what else I have because I like the idea of having something ooh a little more slender um, let me delete this this is great oh, lots of good options here okay yeah this is cool and then I'm gonna make this red again oops there we go if we want to rotate it book reviews maybe do want to make it bigger new videos every Sunday yeah, so I'm not sure on that one. I'm like, mm, that's one I might. I like the idea, but it's just I'm not. Yeah, it's like almost there, almost. I just, oops. Click on that, rotating that. Yeah, so that's yeah, kind of an idea there. We'll see. Okay, and then let's go back to photos. If you want to add in photos, you can. That's great. Like maybe you want to look for some special book photos. Lots of cool um, ideas here. So certainly if you wanted to find maybe a different background for this, that's an idea. Um, there's charts, which doesn't really apply to this particular design project, but um, it's great that they're in here. And then you can also upload your own images and pictures if you like as well, which is very cool. If you want to add additional text, you can do that and just click on that. Oops. And then um, we'll move this around so you can see what that looks like. 
So if you want to add more text, again, more font choices here, you can pick something. Mm, that's pretty cool font too, actually, for kind of a book book type font. Okay, I'm gonna delete that. And then we got modules here. This is cool for like the whole subscribe thing. Like that, actually. I'm gonna make that go lower, put it down here. That's awesome. Oh, I love that. That yeah, social icons having let's go look at all of these, see what they have. We got liking, we got subscribing. Oh, we got the notification bell. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I'm not sure I want to put that on there, but emojis. Okay, we already use that subscribe. So then there's different subscribe ones, which is really, really cool. Yeah, okay, cool. So I'm gonna just stick with that for now. And then background. So here's where you can change the background and find other cool ideas for a background. So again, I think for, I like the background that we have here. This is great. And this is what's cool about Design Cap is, you know, looking at their templates, they've got nice templates to use. And I like that because uh, some other design tools, you know, they'll give you templates, but they're not ones you'd actually want to use. And even with this, with just a little bit of changing, I mean, I like how it's turning out. And just this little thing I added here, I'm like, hmm. Yeah, I just keep going back and forth on do I really want this or is it just meh? Does it just need to be bigger? I can't figure it out. Yeah. All right, so you have to let, let me know what I need to do to fix this. <laughs> or, or maybe you think it looks fine. Let me know if it looks fine or I should delete it. Um, anyway, so this is cool. I love how this is turning out. So here we took a template and with just a little bit of tweaking, you know, a little bit of changes, we uh, I got the the text the way I wanted it here, um, resized everything, add you know, change the text a little bit more here. I like this squiggle; I kept it. Just kind of changed the background a little bit, played with some of the effects, and we're good to go. And so then all we have to do is download it. So you can just click over here, download, and we'll give it a name. Call it book review, YouTube, channel, art. And then we can choose the size, small, medium, extra, large. And again, these are the premium features here. Let me go for extra large. I'm going to download. And so that's one of the benefits, again, when you have the upgraded uh, one of the to the premium plan is it allows you more options, like you can download larger file sizes and so forth. So now it's ready to download. I'm just going to save it to my downloads. And we're good to go. So that's it, you guys. Hope you found this helpful. If so, leave a thumbs up. I always appreciate that. And if you have any questions, definitely let me know. Um, or if there's another uh, template you'd like to see me work on using Design Cap, let me know that as well. Um, I'd be happy to uh, uh, look into doing that also. But otherwise, thanks for your time. Really appreciate you watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.